everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. When Bishop Sheen, Fulton Sheen, who should be canonized a saint by now if not for the scheming by various U.S. bishops to prevent that from happening, when he said it's up to us the laity to save the church, well he wasn't kidding. So in addition to all kinds of efforts of the more high-minded sort dealing with the brain and the intellect directly, there are also what we might term more down-to-earth efforts, literally down to the earth, like what you put on your feet while you're walking around. We're talking about Catholic devotional socks, the brainchild of Scott and Elizabeth Williams, who started up Sock Religious. It's home based in Indianapolis and just having passed the 100,000th order milestone, that makes it the biggest Catholic sock company in the U.S. We like to say that, that our socks are socks that start conversations. So when, we, uh, when I worked in youth ministry for a long time, the, the, the part of evangelization that I personally found to be the hardest was simply starting the conversation. Um, I feel like the Holy Spirit can kind of take over from there and work in the lives of stories and journeys and everything else. But the the getting over that hump of just starting the conversation to me was always the the, the hardest hurdle to to overcome. Um, so we like to to make socks that that kind of deliver on that uh, with the designs. Whether you know you're in the airport and you know you're you're doing your crossword and you can see Saint Joseph popping out of your your ankle. Uh, but what we do is on the back of the tags for every socks that we make, we tell a little bit about the lives of the saints. We give some key facts like feast days, uh, what they're the patron of, um, and then give a real short, you know, pocket size bio of, of the saint or the devotion. Um, because a lot of times what happens is our, our socks are given as gifts uh, to people and they might not know a whole lot about the saint that they're, they're getting, but uh, we try to give them a little bit of ammo for evangelization. Yes, indeed. Gifts. Bear that in mind. And you don't have to wait till Christmas. Scriptures do say how beautiful are the feet of those who bring glad tidings. So those feet might as well be wearing beautiful socks as well, right? In fact, something we may almost never really pay attention to is feet. The topic of feet in the Bible. Yeah, there are over 100 mentions, 113 as a matter of fact, of feet. Your feet, toes, feet. In the Holy Writ, and while not all of those references are necessarily profound, they do remind us that, you know, feet are a thing. We work with a lot of schools and parishes for, for fundraisers. People do custom socks for their schools or parishes. Uh, so we've, we have these relationships and we wanted to use the, the strength of our manufacturing arm to be able to serve the church in a unique way. Uh, and one thing that I realized working in, in uh, the Catholic Church for, for many years is that uh, people end up spending a lot of time on things like fundraisers and uh, gear for the stuff or the events that they're going to, whether it's a, a mission trip or whatever it might be, that they didn't sign up to work uh, in ministry to do that, right? They didn't sign up to, to, to because they really love putting on pancake breakfasts and car washes. Uh, so if we can take away some of those pain points so that people can get back to ministry, then we're excited about doing that for them. Yeah, I bet you should be. Sock Religious is now under the parent company, Catholic Concepts, along with the brands Live Liturgically, Four Marks Printing, and States of Faith. States of Faith, that's a cool one. Once Scott and Elizabeth stuck their <clears throat> toes in the water, so to speak, you knew some of these joke phrases were coming, admit it, come on. They quickly discovered a market for all kinds of Catholic merchandise. A lot of people will say, like, you know, your, your socks are evangelized. Like, the product itself isn't evangelized, but we're giving people the tools mm -hmm. to evangelize. And, and, you know, how do you become holy, right? One of the key areas to do that is to surround yourself with holiness. Holy people, uh, reminders of holy products, remember, re reminders to, to, to live out the Great Commission in a unique way. So, so we, we uh, do a lot of that through products. We give people more reminders to, to be holy, whether that's, uh, socks, apparel, clothes, uh, things in your house, you name it. We want to be able to, to give people that, that space. 
Indeed, everything is made in a house by a staff and team of all is made in house by a team and staff of almost 30 people who help focus, bring focus back to the Catholic devotional life by <clears throat> trotting fresh ground. OK, we'll stop with those. It's not something we, we kind of blast out, but when we do have downtime on machines and we have, uh, the, you know, we end up with like extra yarn that we're, we don't have a, a big, big future plans for, uh, we'll turn the machines back on, just build some basic socks and, uh, you know, donate them to our, there's a couple places here in town that, that put them to real, real good use. Uh, for our local homeless community, uh, but then also uh, we we have some other socks that um, what we call like less than perfect socks that they're still socks that you can wear, but they might have some minor imperfections. And like I said before, we sell uh, a high end you know quality product, and we expect that that final product that we're sending out the door is going to be that. Um, so if there's a small defect, but it's still a wearable sock. What we end up doing is we, we bring in some volunteers from local high schools. We, uh, we pair them up uh, with like socks, and then we work with uh, Cross Catholic Outreach, and they send them in their boxes of joy to, to countries around, or th third world countries that, that need them. Yeah, those slightly less than perfect ones, those are for the really big sinners. So, <clears throat> Get on your feet and show some love to faithful Catholics who only want to blaze a trail back to a regular devotion to the faith. Now, if you'd like to find out more, just go to catholicconcepts.com forward slash sock religious. And remember, you can even support the ongoing case of a not yet saint like Bishop Fulton Sheen. See, these are this is the Bishop Sheen sock right here. It's very cool, very cool. We do need the official blessing of the church for public devotion of folks like Sheen, but nothing is stopping us from <clears throat> stepping out and showing support for all of that. Yeah, I know, it's a knee slapper, got it. Okay, <laughs> now we're done with them. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Thank you.